Saudi, Egypt, a few other countries. Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia has had a law since 2015, which documented three things. It documented barcoding requirements that went into effect in 2015. It documented serialization requirements that went into effect March of 2017. Third thing it said was, in just a couple of sentences, which said, and we would like this information reported to some centralized database. It didn't say time, it didn't say requirements, it just said that was an ultimate goal. So we've always known that it was the goal of the Saudi FDA to have a centralized reporting system. And it's being worked on. So the government solicited an RFP in January of 2017 for companies that wanted to bid to build the central system. So we already knew we, we were given a copy and asked if we wanted to bid on that contract. So we had an idea of what they were thinking in January of last year. It is roughly modeled on the Turkey system, which simply put is like the Argentina system, which says um, you push information about the product and then every shipment and receipt as the product moves through the supply chain, you report information. So it's, it's fairly simple in concept. It's not like Russia and you don't have movement events and all of that. Um, now, the third piece though is that Saudi in the final phase requires aggregation as well. So serialization today, you do not have to do aggregation for Saudi Arabia. In the third phase with compliance reporting, you will have to do aggregation and there is an aggregation transaction event um, in there. And we know that because the draft technical guidelines were circulated in April for public comment, for 90 days of public commentary. So we know what those guidelines say. And the GS1 public policy organization, of which myself and two other Tracelink team members are a member of, we've been reviewing all of this and capturing feedback, which is going, might have already went, to the Saudi FDA to provide feedback from the industry to help improve these guidelines. There's no deadline. <clears throat> But there's concern because the Saudi FDA has given indications that this, since it's like Turkey and since the industry has already met the Turkey regulations, it shouldn't be too much of a jump or a step to meet these regulations. That's how they stated it. They floated timelines of three months for implementation, aggregation and compliance reporting. The industry has been saying, and this is in the feedback from GS1, um, best practice really is 18 months to two years for the industry to build a compliance system, test it, all of that kind of thing. But we don't know exactly what's going to happen. That feedback's going in, public commentary ends in July. It'll take a little while for the SFDA to review that. But we don't really know what the timeline is. The industry is really pushing for end of next year, end of 2019 or early 2020. Saudi Arabia's government has said they would like it sooner and we'll see where it ends up. And just from a diagram perspective, and you'll get these slides to give you a sense of the use cases or events that are involved, as well as some of the notifications from the system. So as I said, it's relatively simple to describe compared to Russia, at least. And then Egypt, the mystery known as Egypt, so Egypt, again, has a similar diagram to Saudi Arabia in describing this. Um, for all pharmaceuticals, they basically would like full track and trace throughout the supply chain. They have had barcoding requirements and master data requirements. For those that haven't seen it, last year they actually published a very detailed, almost month-by-month -month set of deadlines to June of 2018. And why is June of 2018 important? In that law, June of 2018, you are supposed to serialize and you are supposed to have reported to the Egyptian system. How many are ready? And why is that? Because there's no technical guidelines, because the Egyptian system hasn't been published out yet. It's in test mode. So a um, lot of uncertainty here. The, the requirements very much follow GS1. So from a serialization perspective, we're ready today. 
we, could, we, Tracelink, others could do serialization for this today. So not worried about that. Um, but we don't even know what the government system looks like yet. We don't know what the transactions look like yet. We don't know the data model. So what I've been hearing is the Ministry of Health has been connecting to stakeholders internally and saying, we're working on these guidelines. We want your feedback. We're not going to say anything about the deadlines. But what we might do is we might publish the draft guidelines and then publish an expectation of deadlines with the draft guidelines. So we're, we're waiting. I've heard rumors of one year to two years for implementation of the compliance reporting, but um, that's what I know. 